So, I rolled into the studio this morning to see, to my delight, Logic X was going 10.2. And with that comes Alchemy. Now, normally I don't update software mid-project, and I'm on a big project at the moment, but the temptation was too much, and I just had to download the update. So, what is Alchemy? Well, it's basically the next generation synth for Logic X, with multiple sound generators including additive, spectral, formant, granular, sampler, and virtual analog synth, all in one Logic X plugin, formerly produced by Camel Audio and now under the Apple umbrella. You're going to get some 3000 presets for all genres of music from hip hop, dance, through to sound design and cinema. If you write music, you'll find a sound for your style. To download all the samples and patches, which I've not done yet, after the Logic update, go to download additional content to get all the samples and presets. I found Logic deleted my aliases to my external hard drive, so you'll need to fiddle about if your Apple loops or samples are external. Didn't take long to fix the issue, and there were no problems using the software immediately after I downloaded either. No doubt when I download the full patch library, I'll have to sort the aliases out again, but it's not a big deal. Apart from the great sound library, you're going to get performance controls, virtual analog oscillators, and you can even import your EXS samples too, which is brilliant. To add, if you've got a trackpad or iPad, then you're going to love the fact you can easily manipulate and control your patches in real time, which is brilliant. So let's check out a few sounds. Okay, so if you've not downloaded this yet, here's a couple of sounds that you can listen to from some of the patches. As I said before, I haven't downloaded the full library yet, so uh, this is just kind of like my first impression as well, really, even though I've been using it today on a couple of projects. Uh, here it is, just with a loop, playing through some of the sounds. So, nice sort of sub dubby type bass. Kind of like early garage and uh, some techno. Pretty full bass. Gonna have to use thin sounds with that. Oh, I like that. Okay, now what you can do is you can use the transform area here. start tweaking the sounds and changing things quite quickly to sort of work on modulating and changing the sound without having to go into the more advanced parameters. Let's check out a couple of other sounds. changes the sound massively. At first the menu area is where you'll probably work most unless you're a sound designer or into creating sounds from scratch right out the box. And it's here you'll select your sounds from the various menus that can then be shaped by the perform area. And I'd suggest, at least at first, the transform pad is a great place to start as it automatically updates and transforms the sounds by adjusting the various parameters. You can also use the X and Y pad along with the dials to tailor your sound. This is a great way of selecting a sound that you want to use and then shaping it to work within the mix and working with the other sounds around it. The effects section is another cool area to check out when you first download the update. It's got some great reverbs, really good quality distortion that to my ear can give a real warmth and almost analog sound to the patch you're working with. This is a massive program and I'm merely just touching the tip of the iceberg, but 
get the update and check it out. It's a brilliant plugin. You're gonna love it.